we're joined by Lane, uh, Coach uh, Mallon, and Amaris Baker. Um, Amaris and Lane both have career high points tonight. Um, so let's do questions for the athletes first. We'll see if that with questions for Coach. We'll start with the state. And you know what can you say to have um, a night like tonight against uh, another city school? have your team to show up and you know I think the most impressive stat on the sheet is 24 assists to 29 shots I mean um, that just to me shows team one on the floor and it's something we've been working on it's, it's not a surprise to me it's the way we play basketball but to see that kind of and then have the 31 bench points um, to be able to do that in a game against the city school we know it's always a big rival and just really do what we need to do on the defensive end was really important for us tonight especially heading into our next series so really proud I'm really proud of these two um, sitting to my left and right um, First, you know, first career highs, but also first time in here. So I'm excited to have them by my side to talk a little bit about today's game. All right, just a reminder, raise your hand so we can get you the mic. Maris, being a local, local kid playing in this game against the city team, how meaningful was that to come out and have a performance like that? It means a lot. There's nothing like home, and Drexel is my home now, so. You know, just having my teammates, my group staff, always preparing us every single day to just perform and meet our goals and meet everything. And in the fourth quarter, it looked like you were in incredible shoes. How, did, how big did the best it look to you in that, that stretch of the game? Um, I think just with the confidence of my teammates that they have in me, uh, no shot was hard for me, so I'm just going to shoot. I know they all have my back. So. And you also being a local, local player, City games, how much do they mean to you? Uh, it, mean, it especially means more being from around here and playing against teams that you watch growing up. So to play here against a team like that, it's, just, it's incredible. Uh, Mayors, uh, great game, congratulations. Um, you know, you talk about your journey, right? Start high school locally. Kind of saw Park up, and now you're here, you know, playing visual basketball at a very high level. Yeah. Talk about where you are right now and, and where you started on your collegiate journey. Uh, so I'll start. I'll start with like where I started. Um, at first, like after freshman uh, season, tough. Then you know, going back home uh, and performing and getting to where I wanted to be and being seen by Coach Amy. Um, it meant a whole bunch. It was definitely a journey, but it definitely uh, built a lot of character. So, and I just want to talk about like every day that we talk about making up our head. So, that's you know, just doing all the little things. You got to do all the little things to get what you what you want. So. And Lane, I know you didn't play in the first game here at home. What was that like? You know, filling it up, getting all those buckets here at home in your first true home collegiate game. Um, I think I just know that anytime. Coach trusts me enough to put me in the game. I just need to take advantage. I'm not afraid to score and make mistakes, um, especially as a freshman. So no matter what I put in, I'm, I'm just going to take advantage and do what I'm supposed to. Uh, okay, so you did guard her and practice it all. Kind of, does she do that a lot on the second team against you guys? Uh, of course. Everything, everything she shoots up is money. I already know. So just having that confidence in Lane, she already knows. Lane, shoot it. Like, do your thing. It's confidence in You mentioned kind of Lane, uh, the confidence your teammates have. I think late, like, you were up in the corner, they were kind of urging you to kind of get up a three and, and stuff like that. Um, how much is this a confidence booster for you, kind of seeing those results the past two games? And kind of, like, you can have that in the back of your mind throughout the rest of the season that, oh, I can, I can do this at this level. Um, I think I just know that having my teammates on the bench cheering you on is especially huge. But um, just the confidence in myself, I know that if it's a good shot, it's cash money. <laughs> I, I guess also, what will it take for you, Lane, to kind of stay on the floor at this level? Have you learned kind of through a couple games, like, what do you think is kind of going to be key for you? Right now? I think for me, it's just going to be the little things, getting on the, getting on the ground, getting the rebounds, playing defense. Uh, something that I struggle with, but I'm going to work hard every day to get you know my minutes on the floor, and it doesn't come through scoring at all. These coaches have made it very important that like nothing's earned, I mean, nothing's given to you. Like you have to earn everything here. So it's been really fun coming in. Like 
not having anything handed to me, especially just like knowing that every day I come to practice, I work hard for it. Uh, seems like everything was kind of clicking offensively today. Um, you know, 50% from the field, uh, was 24 assists. Um, you know, what was kind of the game plan of, you know, what did you guys see that, you know, which really worked for you guys tonight? Is that for makers of right now? Yeah, I, I think for us it was just trying to take advantage. We knew they were going to be aggressive on defense, and, and they do th throw different things at you, whether it's a court, um, you know, press or it's like a half court. So just be prepared, and we, I think we really prepared this week for that. And, and as I tell the team, you, you're not going to see anything we didn't work on this week, and now it's execution and just staying together because we're not obviously going to be perfect. But I thought they executed really well, and then when we were able to do that and, and actually be successful in it, I think you saw the confidence building, saying, hey, you know what, we, we can keep doing what we're doing out there. And, at that point, um, uh, we really saw that things start opening up. They were saying, hey, this is where we're going to get opening. This is going to get a shot. So for, as a coach, that was like, exciting to see because that's the way. You know, it's kind of what you plan for it to be, but that's kind of the way it worked tonight for us. And I guess for the players, I mean, with that up-tempo, high-pressure defense, you guys have a lot of possessions like keeping the shot clock. How are you guys able to stay so patient and uh, not get rushed? Um, we just every day in practice. Nothing is easy. Like, defense, that's the coaching we emphasize every day. So,
guard really just, her length is really um, disruptive for the guard she's facing. And I'm really enjoying seeing her, her first season on the floor for us. Um, you know, she came back, she had an injury last year, and this is really her first year on the floor. So I'm excited because I just see the momentum each in her confidence growing. You know, her looking to take that little jump over one or take, and she really is the catalyst for that group. And I'm excited because actually when you have, when you have a Neil, um, LeClaire, and Baker on the floor, they're pretty, I, I'm really happy with what they do from a hard standpoint. And then uh, secondly, Hodges kind of in the first quarter sort of got the, the ball rolling offensively, at, like at halftime with the like, assists and rebounds on like the line, the triple double watch basically. Yeah. Can you provide comments on the versatility of this use from perimeter, mid range at the line, comment on the versatility that she provides, especially at her size? You said it, versatility is, is the key for us, and especially we have her up the out the floor of Mullen. And Valentine, we have the, I think it's hard to guard Mullen and her at the same time because of the versatility. And I think Chloe really showed that tonight. Like, that's something, again, I, I look at her as someone who came back from injury last year. And this is really her first, like, full year back. And she's showing exactly what we, what we were looking for from her um, as a player coming into our program. And I think you're just going to see that she's a worker. She's in the gym every day. You're going to see her continue to kind of add those pieces. And I think we really need that. Um, and I, I was happy to see that happen tonight, and especially just for her, these sisters or whatever. Um, in the five assists with zero turnovers, we do put the ball in her hands and expect her to make some plays, and I think she did a great job today. Hey, Coach, uh, congrats on the win. Uh, I, I really thought Jasmine Valentine played very well. Uh, you know, she had six points and uh, I think got six rebounds, and uh, she really dominated down low, got a lot of big offensive rebounds. You know, between her and Satman, obviously you're relying on them to basically hold down that center spot. How big is Valentine? How big was she tonight? And going forward as essentially that energizer bunny up front uh, off the bench. You said an ener energizer bunny. If you see her practice sometimes, you know. But that I means she, she she has a personality uh, that she kind of shows on the court a little bit. And I think uh, I'm excited because I think she needs, you know, we need those minutes for her right now. And between her and Satman, especially, you I mean, tonight it wasn't a team that was overly, um, the opponent wasn't really a lot bigger than us, so I think we were able to go a little smaller, which I did like. But um, really, I'm expecting Sapp and, and Valentine to really be that force inside for us and really trade off time. And, I mean, they can play together too, but I think uh, Valentine, yes, you know, and we've, we've been talking a lot to the, our versatile post players about being more active and looking to score and, and using what they have and, you know, getting to the rim and um, being running a rim runner to get down there. I think they're starting to pick up a little bit, so it was nice to see Valentine uh, get some of that tonight. Speaking of, uh, of Satman, um, she looked at six and a half minutes. Was there an injury, or did the, how the game was kind of just the flow of the game? The game kind of changed? Or I think it's the flow of the game a little bit. I think, you know, Valentine came in, and I, as I mentioned earlier, it was a smaller team, so I think they were really taking advantage of, like, popping and looking to shoot threes. And, um, she tends to be a little bit of a rim protector, so I think we, we just thought from a versatility standpoint it was more of a game plan, you know, at times. But, um, I, you know, I don't. I think you're going to see her right back where she usually is and, you know, in that starting lineup coming up, you know, doing what she does off the bench as far as, uh, not the bench, but like from the start. I think tonight was just more of a game plan. And sometimes I think that's a great part of, about the versatility that everybody today can journey in different ways. Uh, it gave me the ability to keep um, certain players out there, um, especially if we were a little smaller today. Um, I guess, Lane, I asked her kind of how she can carve out a role on her team. Because how, I guess, from not playing in the first game to kind of carving out a role here, as seen that improvements in practice or that? You know, I think, yes. And Lane, I think, I, I love her response to that because, you know, the one thing we knew coming in is that she said the hardest thing for a freshman is usually the physicality and the defensive piece um, they have to play at. And, and we are, we take a lot of pride in our defense. So um, she's in every day working on, and it, she's working with someone who's pretty good at it, um, someone named Hannah Nigel, who played, who's the defensive player here in our league. And, and she's committed to just getting better at just understanding the concepts and uh, you know, I knew she could score. That's why one of the reasons, you know, when I saw her in high school, I thought we were very lucky um, to be able to get her and get her here at Drexel. So I, I have no doubt we're going to see that happen um, again in the future. And, and you see her do it in practice every day, so it's not a surprise. But what is what she's getting better at is the, the concepts, you know, being on the floor. And as she said, her teammates want her out there. They want to see her out there. So she's going to keep working. And I think you're going to see a lot more of her on the floor. Um, I know everyone's probably saying, you probably should put her in that first game. You know, when you see the solid score of the game and what we were able to do. But as she said, it's like earning that trust. Um, I think she is continuing to do that. So um, I'm excited to see her continue to grow.
disparity and, and factor that had to into it? That's huge. I mean, we always say rebounding ends up being the, the, the little battle that wins the war all the time. And, uh, you know, we, uh, you look at our rebounding, not, I just look at our guards and some of the things they're doing on the floor. I can't be happier with how they're rebounding the ball. And I think that's really making it difficult for teams and keeping us in games, especially even our first game, even though we didn't score, we still had the ability to get some rebounds that we needed. So very pleased with that. I mean, I think that's something you don't see all the time with some Drexel teams, but I'm really excited because I think, again, the defense and the rebounding can really set the tone for us, and I hope moving forward when we, we may be starting to score that that's something that's going to continue to stay consistent and keep us in games. Thanks so much, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Do you guys get free shake shack too? I know. I think everybody was screaming about the locker room. But yeah, I think I said, so we'll all be there. You might see everybody there next.